This is how to different correct collect the data using your Trimble unit. First, you're going to have to click on data transfer. This will allow you to take the data files that you've collected off the Trimble unit. Make sure you have receive. This is connected so it's okay. You know, and add data file. And click on the data file that you collected. And you're going to hit transfer all. This is, means SSF. That's, that is a uncorrected data file. I'm going to hit close. In order to different to correct it, I'm going to open the file, the SSF file. Open it. And then, in order to see it, we're going to click on the map. Right here. There's your data. Now we go ahead and correct it. And this will relate it to the other base stations in the area. You wanna we wanna process it using code and carrier with one single base provider that will give us the most accurate data. You're going to keep these defaults the same. And we select the base provider. And we're going to use the Rock River, Illinois. I'm going to make sure you save it in the project folder. Hit start. And this will take a couple minutes. Oh, there you go. And you can take a look at your data. And you want it to be the smallest range possible. So this one is it's pretty good. It's a 70.5% of the data as a 15 centimeter range. And hit close. We're going to open it. That's going to be the COR. And that means correct the data. Okay. And there's your data points. And now, in order to get it into ArcMap, you have to export it as a shape file. So in order to do that, I'm going to hit export. Make sure that this is the same file which it is. I'm going to use the Esri shape file setup with a lat long and the WGS84 datum. I hit OK. No, you can ignore this because you can uh, specify a coordinate system or projection file in our catalog afterwards. Hit yes. And this is closed. And that is done. There you go.